On Tuesday, November 15, 2011, Illinois became the largest state in the Union to provide adult adoptees access to their original birth certificates. The final enactment of this two-phase law opens the door to almost 350,000 adopted citizens to now be able to apply for the actual record of their birth. Unlike other states which have reverse sealed records laws, adoptees in Illinois will not be able to receive their original birth certificate on the same day that they apply. Not all Illinois birth records are electronic, and Illinois adoption records are not centralized. So the task of locating each individual certificate can take weeks and sometimes even months. Deputy State Registrar George Rudis explains the process by which the original birth certificates are provided to Illinois' adopted citizens. Today begins our first day of implementing a law that allows adoptees that were born on or after January 1st, 1946 to receive their original birth certificate. When this law went effect in uh, May 2010, those people born prior to 1946, we were dealing with a potential 100,000 adoptees that are affected by this portion of the law seeking their original birth certificate. Now, there is an additional 250,000 adoptees that may be seeking their original birth certificate. We've had thousands of inquiries from adoptees and birth parents either seeking the record, seeking preference, wanting to know uh, the information. And those thousands are going to translate into more and more applications and requests. We believe that it's going to be anywhere from four weeks to several months before we're able to take care of those applications. We ask the public for their patience as we will maximize the resources that we have here. We have two staff to handle this entire operation. We are committed to making sure that anybody that wants to make application, we're gonna to try to take care of them. You can request your birth certificate in one of two ways. Uh, either mail it in or uh, you can come down to Springfield to 925 East Ridgely and uh, present the request to us at the front window. The first thing we do is to review the request to make sure it is properly completed. Uh, properly completed means to have the government issued current photo ID and other identifying information that allows us to make sure we know it is you that we are dealing with. The birth database is then checked to see if we can locate the applicant's birth certificate uh, using the amended information. If we can locate the amended record on the birth database, it must be determined if the information contains the case number. If the record is located and the case number is not on the birth database, we have to send it to the archives unit, and we do that by electronic request for the record. If no amended record is located, we check to see if the uh, department has any information regarding their adoption and where it took place. To locate the original birth certificate can take four to six weeks from the circuit court. Once we receive uh, the adoption decree, the birth record still cannot be located and an agency is named in the decree, we then contact them, that agency, to see if they have any additional information. We have a staff here that never gives up and will continue uh, to look and, and look for different ways to maybe to try to identify that record. This is a multi-step process. We're dealing with adoption agencies. We're dealing with county circuit courts all over the state of Illinois. And we're always in motion and always working to try to satisfy and find that original birth certificate. And there will still be a certain percentage, maybe as little as 1% uh, of the people that do make our requests that will never get their original birth record. Once we have the case number, we check to see if the, that case number is in the adoption registry. If it is, we pull the adoption registry case file to determine if there is a birth parent preference form. Some birth parents are looking for contact, others are not. There is a law that allows for that preference and we want to respect that and make sure that we handle that part as well. Once an original birth certificate is located, the request along with a fee, a check or a money order, is submitted to our fee receipt unit here at the uh, Division of Vital Records. The original record is then printed on safety paper. The release statement is then added to the record and stamped with the signature of the director of the Illinois Department of Public Health. After that, the adoption registry case files are then created and all the documentation is filed. But most important is that 
one more individual has received their original birth certificate and knows the rest of their story. To receive your record, you need to fill out an application form which is available on the internet at the website listed at the end of this film and mail it to the Illinois Department of Public Health, Division of Vital Records, 925 East Ridgely Avenue, Springfield, Illinois, 62702-2737. You need to include your completed application, a copy of your passport, driver's license, or other state ID, and your $15 fee in either a check or a money order. In addition, the staff at Vital Records will need your patience as they process your request. There are already thousands of applications that have been submitted. For more information, you can go to www.idph.state.il.us slash vital records slash vital slash non underscore certified dot htm or you can call the Illinois Adoption Registry at 877-323-5299. Thank you.